Restaurants shut back in December as Gibraltar braced itself for a second lockdown and a surge in COVID cases. At the time, the Catering Association told GVC that it understood why measures were put in place, but that it was disappointed at the lack of consultation. Since then, has that dialogue with the government improved? Communication has been fluid. Um, we have a good channel of communication with government and with all other, all other stakeholders. But in fairness, we haven't been consulted. We've put our, our concerns across and we, we've suggested measures and we've highlighted measures that aren't favourable. I know that, that they've taken some on board. Most businesses had no clarity whatsoever. We haven't been able to organise our staff rotors. We've already just learned yesterday in Parliament that we're not allowed to serve alcohol from 3 to 7, mm -hmm. which means uh, complete wipeouts to some of the businesses, to be honest. Some businesses have decided not to open in the afternoon or during the daytime because it's, complete, it's not worth it. The curfew's been pushed back to midnight to allow establishments to cater to evening sittings. The Catering Association says it feels the government has listened to them on this point. Measures announced to mitigate the spread of COVID-19, whilst also allowing establishments to reopen their doors, include double masking for staff and a temporary control on serving alcohol between the hours of 3pm and 7pm. If somebody is having lunch, normally it's about 1.32, at 3 they would still be uh, enjoying their drink. I don't think there's a binge drinking at, in the afternoon, at least we don't experience that at all. So does that mean that if they are having a drink, we have to remove it? Uh, can they uh, order before three, uh, two bottles of wine and enjoy it during the lunch? And if somebody comes in at 6.30, can they have a drink before the 7 o'clock because they're going to have dinner or nothing at all? We, of course, we want to comply with, with the government uh, instructions. So, but we'd like a little bit of clarity on this one as well. They've been made with a view to probably stop the kind of all-day session as such. I think, to be honest, I think it's... In a way, it's quite a good idea. I think it's going to help us a little bit because what we do want to do, we do want to focus a little bit more on food anyway. Um, so I think what that's going to do, you're going to have two sittings of you know, lunch, breakfast, lunch, and then you're also going to have dinner. I think, look, the government's been really good and really uh, supportive to all businesses. Some restaurateurs told GBC that they were concerned the double masking for staff would affect their ability to communicate with customers clearly. Overall, it's still been perceived as a positive moment for the industry. Everybody to uh, battle stations and, and ready to go. I think people, are, um, the staff and, and clients alike, are, um, are craving a social contact, you know, which is what's been missing in our lives. And, um, and so, yeah, very exciting times. Despite the continued need for social distancing and other anti-COVID measures, the community will be looking forward to this after what's been an extremely difficult few months.